hey everyone welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video in today's video i am doing a spring makeup look so if you are excited to see the transformation then keep on watching all right y'all so i've already did my brows and i've concealed the up under them and i've already put on some primer so we can jump right into it we are going to start off with the foundation this is the foundation that i have always used especially if i want to do like a more coverage or a liquid foundation this is my liquid foundation that i use it is truly matte in the color clm 364 mahogany and again i got this from family dollar actually no i'm sorry we well yeah we're going to use this for to conceal the lids my eyelids but we're not going to you know go as i said that i put on my goodness gracious um that's fine okay I couldn't fix all of that <clears throat> excuse me okay so we are going to use the palette called born to be a unicorn but this one right. um, like I said we are about to go into the palette already well you seen I did my concealed my eyelids with the foundation I actually like using that because I feel like it has like a better um, I guess foundation I don't know the word I'm looking for but I guess it has like a better base there we go better base but let's get into this gorgeous palette I love using this palette okay so we're going to start off with just this like really simple light pink right here and we are going to put this uh like oh all over the lid yeah we can we can do all over Ooh, look at look at that so pretty okay so I love it it's like a plush pink or a baby pink like you can see that is there but it's not overpowering either You see it's real subtle so that makes it like a perfect base for any type of transition okay so then we're going to go into it's about the same color as this the other pink that i use or the first pink we're going to use this one right here okay and then we're going to put that in the like right before the first color Yep, so right before the first color and then you're going to blend it, blend them both together. So like I said, it's soft, but you can still see what's happening and what's going on. Next, we're going to take this really oops, pretty color, excuse me, right here, this one, and we're going to put it like in the middle and then we're going to bring it out
all right so now we are going to take i think we're going to take this darker like deep fuchsia i'm going to use my finger and i'm going to put it on the outer corner of the little bit of space that i have left and we're going to like fuse it together And you're going to take your blending brush and you're going to blend it because you don't want any harsh lines or edges or anything like that. All right, so let me give you a close up. Really pretty. Okay, now I think I got the eyes how I wanted, so I'm just going to play around and add on like some shimmer i'm going to take a flat brush and i'm going to go and i think i'm gonna do this one right here this this color and we're going to go right under the brow bone or the eyebrow see oh you see that okay i'm gonna do the same thing okay you see you see all right so like i said i think i got the brows how or not the brows just the eyes how i want them so i'm going to finish everything else off camera and then we're going to come back with the final look so stay tuned you know we're almost finished i like to come on when i am pretty much about 95 percent done so you can see the rest of the transformation but I always also like to change it up to keep y'all on your toes but as you can see i just took my hair down we are going to comb it out and style it together um but also want to add a pop of color we are using what is this lime yes lime 613 everything that i use i will link or list in the description box so be sure to look at it i feel like that green is the perfect pop for a spring makeup look. Okay, that is perfect. All right, and then we're gonna go in with the mascara. Now, today's look, I'm going to use two different um, mascaras. So we're gonna start off with my usual, Great Lash. We're using Great Lash on the top. And now we're going to use LA Curve. I used this a while back and also made a compare and contrast video for um, Great Lash and LA Curve. So if you haven't seen that, then check it out. But I figure this is like a smaller bristle and I think it will work good on my lower lash line. So. we're going to put them there all right I'm gonna go back over the line okay now we're going to 
you can you can pull the curls out with your fingers and then I'm going to spray it good with holding spray coming together and then I'll pop some earrings on and lips and we gonna be done and I also have yes a um two different lip options that you can use with this look spray I'm going to use the holding spray from chai that's cantonic hydration and interlink and I got this from Marshall's I think okay and you can like fluff it out play around with it use your fingers or a white tooth comb to you know get the curls how you like this is the bang right here so i use a different roller a bigger roller for a more bouncier curl and so now i'm just playing around with how i want that curl particularly in the front to lay okay and then once i think i got it how i want it play around with this some more shake 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 let me turn it around Okay, now we're going to pop in one of these rose earrings. These are so pretty. I got these from um, Five Below. I actually did a haul, a haul, um, um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These can be tricky because you want to, ah, Alpha just pinched me. These can be tricky because you want it to like get it in, hold on. That looks like it's in the hole, but it's not. All right, and it's so tricky. So let me, let me do this off camera. Earrings. I'll be right back. I absolutely love it. I know I say that you should get it into the hole, but they also come with like a little clear. I don't know if you can see it backing to put on it to make it more secure so here we are these are so cute and very perfect for spring and oh i just realized that it has pink and the green and it goes with my makeup look perfect all right so let's get into the lip i'm going to give you two options first i'm going to show you the more natural look since the eyes are already doing its thing we are going in with, and they're both by Maybelline. We are going in with 75 Fighter. Have y'all seen this on my channel numerous of times? This is very pretty. It's a nice, subtle look. Because like I said, the eyes are already, you know, doing this thing. And so I figure with this, you can definitely, this will be a toned down look. But for the second option, it's going to be like a, you know, boom, boom, boom. The eyes are popping and then the lips are popping as well. We are going in with, like I said, another Maybelline look. Life of the Party. So fitting. Like, whoever came up with the name of this one is, this was fitting. Um, $3.90. And then, like, look at this. Oop. Look at this. Look at this color.
Ooh, I think life of the party with this look is like my favorite, but you let me know which one do you like? Do you like the neutral 75 fighter or do you like this one? Life of the party. I absolutely love it. I feel like it came out better than what I had, you know, imagined it to be. Last but not least, we're going to top it off with some shimmer. This shimmer that I'm going to use is from LA Colors and it's in the color Radiant. So we're just going to do, you know, a nice little cheek action over here on the nose. Uh, I don't think that's, that's it. I don't think I'm going to do the forehead. <laughs> All right. And then this is the look. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I'm gonna give you a close up. All right, y'all. So thank you all so much for watching, for joining, and just being a part of the fun. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you hit that notification bell. And as always, y'all, what do I say? Hold your head up high. Why? Because she walks in beauty. Bye, y'all.